everyone. Welcome to episode 17 of The Knitting Hookup. I'm Ellie. And I'm Melissa. Let's take a minute and talk about the weather. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you said that. It's funny you mentioned that because I was thinking about that this morning as I was walking my dogs. I'm like, this fall weather's amazing. I'm a- I am in love. Uh, so you're liking the heat, huh? The heat? See, okay, we already have different. This is funny. I think it's like nice, cool, and beautiful. You're like, it's hot? Oh, I'm so done. I mean, the heat index this past week was like in 100. That's. that's... Oh, well, so if it's during the week, I'm indoors. So that's fair. Okay. I always get it at night when it, de- it has definitely been dropping at night. The so, nighttime is nice. Yeah, it's like July weather. Um, but like today, the high is 83. And it's like only 82 right now. It's yes. beautiful today. Yesterday, today is okay. Now, coming up. <laughs> it's yeah, it is going to go up to 90s again. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <sighs> it's teasing us. So hot. It's too we'll hot for... Here. It's mid-September. It shouldn't be this hot. So. You're done, aren't you? I'm so done. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. You're like, bring on my fall <sighs> knitting weather now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? You keep talking. I'm going to listen to you. I should have done this before while we were setting up, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to be on the safe side. My daughter, so funny story, probably not funny, probably disturbing to be quite honest. Um, she's six, so I'm always making things funny or, or at least it's funny to us. And I, we, she loves the iPad and I have to limit her because it's like crack for her. And <laughs> we call it Max. I, she's like, can I play on Maxi? Um, and she ran Max right out of batteries today. So I'm plugging him in so he won't die on us because okay. I just have a feeling <laughs> this could go. So it's, he's already draining fast. So. Oh, poor Max. I know, poor Max, <laughs> right? So overworked. Oh. Like family members. Terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> you laugh. I know, right? Yeah. <sighs> So, um, let's see, this morning we went to a local car show, kind of put on by the city. So it was really yeah. neat. Um, that sounds fun. It was. So they had fire trucks and, uh, and police cars there. Uh, the local dump truck was there. There was, so there was a few cars, like older cars, kind of like a, your mm-hmm. typical car show. Mm-hmm. And the police officers and firefighters would talk to you. And then there was a helicopter, uh, yeah. uh, a medical helicopter there uh, we got to talk with. So this was just this morning and, uh, of course, this beautiful weather. And mm-hmm. it was it was really a, a kind of a neat thing that the city put on to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty small, but this is their first year. So I have a feeling um, if they do it again, it will continue to grow because it was really neat so sounds fun that's what we did this morning yeah i took my dogs for a really long walk and then i dropped them off and went one more loop around it i just was knitting on the couch i started a movie on netflix ruby was playing with max we were we were kind of relaxed but i got some exercise in yeah got some stuff to do but yeah uh, it's it's been nice i want to eat outside today that's where my son is he went and he's like i'm gonna go up and get a hamburger for lunch <laughs> okay and he says i'm gonna go eat outside i said take the dogs with you get them on the deck let them let them yeah. out so, yeah it's yeah. starting to f- a hint of nicer weather yeah 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 today's just gorgeous it yeah. is gorgeous today mm-hmm. we'll probably go to the dog park after this too oh good good so um you mentioned that you went to a concert oh i did so <laughs> I haven't been to a concert and I could not tell you how long. Um, And I, I don't know what age this started for me. Um, I went to concerts when I was younger, for sure. Um, Like teenager, early twenties. But then at a certain point, I don't really like stadium concerts. Like I don't like those huge baseball stadiums where you got to look at a screen. Like to me, that's not really live. I'm sure there's a couple bands out in the world that I would still do that for because it's You know, about the atmosphere, like U2, that's one of my favorite bands. Um, I was supposed to see them when they came to St. Louis the last time, and we had riots. So that got got canceled, missed U2. 
But um, <laughs> I like smaller venues. And some of the, the, the people that I like don't really do smaller venues. But what's great is like a lot of the, the people that I liked growing up are now older. Mm-hmm. They can't really do stadium tours anymore. <laughs> they got to do smaller venues. So um, <laughs> at the Fox Theater, Lenny Kravitz was there. I was so pumped. The tickets weren't crazy. Um, it's a great theater, as you know. It's uh, smaller. I got it on the floor maybe mm, no more than 10 off the stage, 10 rows off the stage. And nice. um, I asked my son, who's 17 and loves music, if he wanted to go with me because he loves music. You know, he has his own flavor, but he really likes a wide, wide genre of music. Um and you know what he said? He, he asked who it was and looked at it, but he was not mortified at the thought of going to a concert with his mom. Girl. He said yes. And I was like, oh, it, it just, I loved it. I was so glad. He did not love the concert, but he didn't hate it. Yeah. Um, when he walked in, the first thing he said, he's like, there is no one under 40 here. <laughs> yes, there is. There just isn't many of them. <laughs> so, so we go, I buy a t-shirt. And Rose Lenny was amazing. Oh, I bet he was. Amazing. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And he was so cool. He walked through the entire theater, went wow. all the way to the balcony even. I got to shake his hand. Oh. I was like, oh, wow. Was just, <laughs> was so cool. I'll never so wash cool. this hand again. Well, I've definitely washed it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? I don't even care who it is. I'm just thinking all the hands he just touched. Like his yeah. hand. He needs to sanitize his hand. <laughs> good luck, Lenny. <laughs> but it was great. Oh, yeah. Really, really a good time. Oh, good, good. So when you told me that, I was pretty excited for you. Yeah, but I love it. I've only been to one concert, um, and it was actually was it four or five years ago. Might even be a tad bit longer. It was my friend who took me, and she took me to a Taylor Swift concert. Oh, that sounds like that would be fun. Sorry. It was fun. It's not hot here, but I'm I'm warm. Sorry. Go ahead. When yeah. was that, though? How long ago? Uh, like I said, f- four or five years ago or something. Okay, four or five. It's been oh, a wow. while. Did you have fun? I did, yeah. I think yeah. that would be a blast. I'd love yeah. it. I think that's great. It was fun. I, I need to start doing more stuff like that. I love, we love, love music. And... Um, that's just something that kind of fell off the scope. I, not even intentionally, just one of those things, life gets crazy, mm-hmm. things happen. And I just yeah. realized that one morning I started cooking breakfast because Saturdays are kind of our lounging day. I'll make breakfast. And um, I used to always put music on and we'd be, kids and I would dance around and act silly and all that. And I did that one time, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago. And I remember one of my boys goes, we should start doing this again. I'm like, we should. And yeah. so it's just one of them conscious efforts, like turn on music, you know, because we don't have the radio anymore. Like we, I mean, of course mm-hmm. you can, but you know, it's like Pandora or your right. playlist, and which is awesome. I just gotta turn it on. So I've been trying to do that. Well, it's good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh... And Lenny Kravitz is still so hot, and he is fifty-five. <laughs> okay, just gotta say that. How old is he? Smoking. 55. 55. And he wears glasses, sunglasses even when it's late at night. You can't tell he's 55. But when he takes off his glasses, you take them off every now and then look at the crowd. The crowd will like, ah, you know, freak out. <laughs> That's where you could see either Lenny's age or Lenny smoke a little too much. Oh. I don't know. One of the two or maybe a combination of both. I'm not going to say. I don't know Lenny like that. But the age definitely <laughs> showed up more in the eyes. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. wow not hating on Lenny not hating on Lenny no it's hard to hate Sorry. on Lenny mm-hmm. <laughs> yep Lenny's got so it what going what have you been up to though so you did the car show has there been like you you always have like it seems like so much you've had birthdays has it been kind of calm now well it <laughs> was and then after our podcast I got really busy with the shop mm. so Oh my gosh. I had to take a couple here, what, Thursday, Friday, a couple just personal days for me because um, I got some private orders and then I had all those pre orders I had to do. So busy. I was like, I get up in the morning, I dye, I um, skein, I mail. 
die, I skein, I mail. And this is just going all day long. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know why? Because in other parts of the world, it's knitting weather. It's I know. knitting weather. It is on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, I'm not complaining, but um, I, I just. But you kind of got thrown into it. It doesn't seem like there was a transition. It was no. like, boom. <laughs> yeah, it was like slow and then. Mm. Yes. The knitters yeah. have spoke. It yeah. Is well. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming Our out of the wires. Break out the pots. Get ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, I just need. I was. I know. I was starting to feel a little exhausted. So, uh, mm-hmm. my husband Paul, he was like, just take a couple of days off. It's not like you can't. And I'm like, I oh, know. You run the business. <laughs> but it's that's you know that's the problem when you have a business out of your home that you're constantly thinking about work and it's really i'm pretty good about drawing the line about okay this is family time right and then yeah so like by two o'clock in the afternoon like i i try to be done with shop stuff because then i'm getting around i'm going to pick up lily from school and then when i come Mm -hmm. home it's time to cook dinner yeah so it's all about family time so i try not to uh you know get on Instagram too much. So usually if people message me, I, I, it might take a while for me to get back with them because I just I just try to shut all that off. So after That's a certain smart. time, you have to or not, you would drive yourself crazy. Yeah. Because it's it, when you have an online shop, it never closes. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Sorry, no. I'm closed for the evening. No, there's right. no so how are those pre-orders going i saw that that looks amazing i it sounds like that was very popular it was uh this weekend is by the time this gets posted i'll have the pre-orders enough the second set of pre-orders taken down but um so i put in the shop the pumpkin spice sock set which actually went with a bag that we had a while back um and it sold really well and then people were still asking for the yarn so i i did a pre-order and so now uh after i got those out in the mail then i did i have a second pre-order up in the shop and you're probably bringing it up on your phone so you could show it so if i if i make some if i have a couple extras i might go ahead and put them in the shop so people who's watching this if they want one they can grab one in the shop Here's my question to you. Yeah. I know everybody does this different, but I am really curious about this. But so anyways, oh gosh, this is gorgeous. So, okay. I don't want to tease people. After this is posted, are you going to be doing this again? Another, are you going to have pumpkin spice sock sets after this, you think? Or is this it? I don't know if I'll have any more sock sets, but I'm thinking about doing just like, uh, just, you know, your single full skeins on yes. different bases. Ooh. Yeah. They're so pretty. That's so perfect for fall. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's got. Is, though, oh, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> no, for pre-orders, do you just let it open and you're like, floodgates are open. I'm going to do it from this day to this day. Whatever comes, comes. Or do you have it set to where like, okay, when I hit this amount, I got to shut it down. It's it's a certain amount because let's okay. be realistic. I, I don't have. Yeah. I, it's not like I have help. It's just me. So I have to say, yeah. okay. What can I physically be able to do and right. get out? Because I, I want to get them out quickly once mm-hmm. you pay for them. I don't like, you know, I, I, a thing that, that bugs me, and I'm a little OCD, is when someone purchases my yarn, I don't want to just, it's sitting in the house. I want to get it out to you because it's yours. Yes. You paid for it. Uh, so, yeah, I try to do it as quickly as possible. And by the way, I am so excited about your set that you just put out. And I love Lily's new pin. The oh. you want to do this? You're doing this at the end, aren't you? Let's not do this now, right? Well, we could can talk about we could talk about our pins. You want to talk about okay, our pins? But, yeah. Okay. You probably have a pin though. But I that's do. the grand. What is it? Tell me. Uh, what they that's are. Grandpa's farm truck, um, and then that's Paul, Paul's overalls. Mm-hmm. Look at that pin. So it's let me so see. Cute. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's hard for me to, 
I'm trying to see go. where it's at. So can you see it real good? It's, oh, it's got such a, uh, it's in silver, a silver nickel. Oh. So it's really reflective. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I, I love so. it. I love it. I love the yarn. With, I just, it's perfect. It's so perfect. I love it. So, so cute. Oh, here's a good one. So. Ew, just the pin. Yeah. There. Oh, so. it's so cute. I and she's, love it. It's so funny. She's working on one for Christmas. Um, and oh. I'll so people have been asking i like she's working on it i told her get up in your room and get that done <laughs> come on start going <laughs> <laughs> get busy kid <laughs> so and then um another one that she did was like amazing on a detail is this the flamingo pin oh yeah that detail that is, I is i'm trying That's to hold it at an so angle so it doesn't have a reflection but um so what was the inspiration with this i don't know she just came up with this one on her own um oh wow but I, it's, I think it's, like, it's like a story that's even more amazing it is i mean this this is really this is her the other ones are just cute and what have you but she put a lot of time in this one um that's amazing. And it's it's pretty what, big. I for sure there was like, you got it off a story or a book or something. I cannot uh, believe that. Yes, it's got That's so amazing. much detail in it. So she really hard, worked hard on this one. And so it's it costs a little bit more than the other ones, but it's bigger. Wow. So it's really neat. That's beautiful. So, God. But, she is so talented. Yeah. So she's... Amazing. We're working on a... a a kitty cat with a sweater so um, that'll be a few weeks before <laughs> before it comes but that's good oh my god that's gonna be amazing, that's gonna be amazing. So. i already know it wow i am that's that's exciting i love that she's like i didn't know she'd be doing all the this many pins this is amazing i'm i'm really in awe like that's wow well i think her goal is to get enough in the shop and then she kind of opened up her own little shop and then Ooh. then she can run her shop and I, I told her that would be a really good experience for her to do uh, obviously yeah. i would oversee it to make sure mm -hmm. but i i think it would just be a good experience learning how to run something yourself yeah, yeah for Absolutely. her age yeah so if anybody she, doesn't know is, she, what's that how old is she she's 14. okay yeah, she just turned 14 this year. So um, I, so I kind of mentioned that maybe when she turns 16, then maybe she can just move everything over to her own little shop and yeah. um, run it. So Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, and by the way, uh, how does the connection and everything, I'm really curious how this goes for you afterwards because I have my fiber optic internet I do not have my crazy router hooked up yet, but I got like, I don't know, some ridiculously off the charts router. It's Internet 6, MIMO technology. It's insanity. So um, do you have the fiber optic right now as you're streaming? Mm -hmm. Oh, very mm -hmm. good. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> do I look fiber optic? <laughs> oh, That's a good sure. title. Do I look fiber optic? <laughs> Like what? <laughs> what does that mean? We don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm always searching for titles for our podcast. So, <laughs> well, I still like you know the knitting weather and the knitters have spoke. I don't know. Those are some possible ones too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You're right though. You do a really good job at naming. I don't know how you pull out what you do, but I'm just when I see it, I know what we discussed. I'm just like, oh, that's good. <laughs> so I have a funny story to tell you. <laughs> Let's see if my no. husband was here. <laughs> Uh -oh. He's been running in and out. So, you know, the last one I named, um, my uh, what I vote for navel piercing or whatever. <laughs> and, and Paul was like, what? I'm like... <laughs> Show me your belly. <laughs> like, he, well, he, did, he didn't know what navel piercing was. He was like, he's thinking of ship, navel. I, oh, <laughs> Oh, that's even better. That's even better. I love it. I love it. So. Well, you know. That's why he was like, huh? Here, I'm Ooh, I just made you bigger. I didn't even know that did that. Oh. So all the arrows that go out, I've had you kind of small. I just made you bigger. Oh, how'd you do that? I don't hmm. know. I have it in the corner of the right hand. It had 
Now if I did it, it had the two arrows pointing this way, but they were pointing out, and I just pushed it. Oh. Nice. Okay. But I'm on my iPad, too. Okay. I'm on Max. Okay. Okay. It's kind of nice, though. I like that. That's better. I like that. <laughs> and I, I, I think we've talked about this before, too, but I cannot figure out. So tell me, do I look like I'm looking at the screen now? Yeah. I do? Yeah. Okay, then, then I know what it is. Okay, because I was going to say, I have tried forever to look straight ahead, and now when I'm looking at you, it doesn't look like I'm looking straight, does it? No. Yeah. So, okay, there's the dot. I have to look over here, which is really yeah. uncomfortable. It's like I'm not well, talking to you. here's what I did. So the picture of you, I moved mm -hmm. over to right under my camera. So I'm looking mm -hmm. at you and not the camera, but you are right under my camera. Yeah, I would have to flip my iPad around. Like, it's over here on the side. It's all, I'm going to talk to the dot. I'm going to talk to the dot. <laughs> 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 oh my I goodness. clicked that thing now to get you bigger. Now I can't figure out how to click back. Oh, <laughs> ah, I literally just said, "Am I huge?" <laughs> oh, you're bigger, but now I can't. Oh well, I was yeah. bigger. Now I'm smaller. So <laughs> I wish uh. I had that problem. I was bigger. Now I'm smaller. <laughs> Going the other way for me. I was smaller now, I'm bigger. Anyways, okay, so we did the car show concert. You had acquisitions. I'm so proud of you. It depresses me when you don't shop. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry. I went vicariously through your purchases. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm trying to see myself better here. I'm having a problem. I don't. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited about the other one, but I don't know the other one at all. Your progress keepers. I've never heard of Manda of Little Bitty Delights. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can. It's going to be really hard because my screen for me got smaller after I was fiddling with it and I shouldn't fiddle with it. <laughs> you should never follow me when I'm doing something technology. I was like, oh, I'm going to do what Melissa does. Don't do that. That's oh. not a good. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay. Don't recommend it. So here's the story on these uh, progress keepers from Little Bitty Delights. We actually did an even exchange. So, um, so she, when I was doing the collaboration with um, the sock designer. Oh my gosh, I forgot her name. Um, I have been that all day. No I feel, judgment. I feel horrible now. Um, the Coffee House Sock Club. <laughs> anyway, okay, so oh, she, uh, Amanda also teamed up with her to bring her some charms. I don't. <gasps> oh, so, there's one. Is that one. Tiramisu? Maybe. Is it Tiramisu? That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, that's what oh, it looks that's... like. Okay, Ooh. there's one. That's so cute. And then uh, here's a little coffee with like uh, ooh. ooh biscottis yeah boy you must be, be able to see this good i can't see my screen i can't see what the little it looks like i don't know if it's a chocolate or a chocolate donut but the biscotti i can see yeah yeah I don't know what the other thing is on there okay and then let's see one more a little like drink so. oh you know what that reminds me of so I don't can't show it to you, but my new favorite thing is Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew with sweet cream. Oh my gosh! I have I am not a person who goes through and buys seriously. I just got to know. I didn't know my calls were coming through. Sorry, did it make me blank out? I got just a call for a, from a just for a second. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I don't go through. I like I like Starbucks, right? But I'm not a person who goes through it daily mm -hmm. or even a few times a week but that nitro cold brew i have been a regular participant i've been through starbucks more times than i probably have been a year oh it's so good it is so 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 good and it hardly has any calories even with the sweet cream it's so good it looks a lot like what you're drinking it has hardly any calories now how is that so it's regular coffee with just some sweet cream in it really Hmm. Yeah, but they put, I guess, nitrogen in it, they said. They, they brew it for like 22 hours. It's cold, so it's real velvety and smooth and crisp. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. 
Oh. It is so good. So good. I mean, it's not as bad as like a latte at all. Like I think with sweet cream, I, what was it? I want to say it was like maybe a hundred calories or something or so, like not much. And I get a grande. Not bad. So I'm go. very pleased with the nitro cold brew. That's what that looked like. I'm just wondering. Do I need a nitro cold brew progress keeper? And she's probably like, that's not what that is. <laughs> Should be. Oh, yeah. So you got progress keepers from Mandy of Manda. Little Manda. Bitty Delights. Yeah. Little Bitty Delights. Okay. And then uh, the other thing I bought is um, Christmas yarn from Mustache <laughs> Yarn. But That's what I'm excited about. It was a pre order and they haven't shipped it out yet. So still waiting for that before I can show it. Oh, okay. So I was wondering what you were knitting before. What was the, you got some in here. We'll talk about it on our, I guess when we start talking about our, our knitting, but yeah, I didn't think, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, that can't, that doesn't look like a mustache to me. So I was just kind of curious, but now I, I can't wait to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. What else did you buy? That was it. That's all I got. What you got? Julianne Knitter. Is that the coffee house sock club? Julianne Knitter. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> on artistic lily on instagram too if you need to see it just look for the yeah. coffee socks and they're on there so um i haven't bought anything i can tell you that <clears throat> not knitting wise i haven't bought stuff trust me <laughs> i'm buying a whole new office Ooh. um so i actually think i'm gonna be able to podcast in there soon because the my office is where i used to try to podcast and it was echoey but i didn't have carpet in there or anything i had plenty of furniture it's not big and I have a, a rug now for it with a rug pad and everything. So I'm, uh -huh. I think I'm going to give that a shot next time we podcast. And I bought a beautiful white shiny desk with this cute rug. Like, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be so girly and modern and it's going to be fun. Good, okay. good, good. Yeah. That's good. I'm trying to get my lighting better in here. It's like the last time we podcast, it was rainy. I have two windows on each side. Um, yeah. I think you always look good. Your lighting's always really cool. Like right now, you just it looks like like sunlight dappling through the the window. It looks very pretty. And I like your nails, by the way. I noticed you had the okay. one. Look at you. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Did you do them yourself or? Yeah, I did it myself. Are those so. you painted that one with the white and the flowers, or is that a, like a decal? <laughs> it's it's um jamberry. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And then th this is a, a gel nail polish, so. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got my powder dip on. Ooh, powder dip. Now, you, you have those done, right? Mm-hmm. Or you deserve a new, a new... You deserve a little me time anyway, so, yeah. Well, I just need nails that are indestructible, and these are oh. like, literally indestructible until I have to sandblast them off at the salon. <laughs> <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're crazy. They are, it's awesome though. These will hold two weeks, no chips, nothing. I, you know, honestly, the only thing that starts showing up is when they grow. That's it. You know, my, my gel nails do really good too. They're, mm -hmm. they don't really chip for about two weeks, except now I did pick just barely. On, I was watching TV and I got bored and I did a little picky. <gasps> You're a picker. My daughter is so bad. She loves it. Like, so I'll take her, I'll paint her nails. She loves having them painted. But as much as she loves having painted and have pretty nails, she loves peeling it off and picking up. And so we have to, I have to bet with her. I have to be like, okay, so if you get through till tomorrow, I'll give you a dollar. For every day you have them, I'll give a dollar. I think the most she's made, It's it's been over 24, but definitely under 48 hours. So she's, she's kept her toes on, but she just like, and I'm like, go ahead. Like if one goes, I'm like, pick it off. She's like, ah. she gets so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember back in the day there was a nail polish that came out I was in I want to say I was maybe in middle school at the time and it, it was meant to peel off it was a peel off nail polish and I'm thinking hmm. I need to see if that's even exists anymore because my daughter would get so excited she would she would love to do that every freaking day I'm not even joking I'm not sure how good that is for your nails to be because I think every time you peel it you kind of peel I don't know, like a layer of skin on your nails or something. I don't know. <laughs> You've taken a little piece of your nail away. Oh, my gosh. You're probably right. You're probably right. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And you like this warm weather. Mm-hmm. Oh, it has nothing to do with warm weather. It's air conditioned in here. Not a darn thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> woman okay. A certain age. So do we want to move on? I have a really good yeah. question. Okay, go for it. Over in the Ravelry group, someone asked. So I said I would try to get it on the podcast. <clears throat> okay. So here's the question is, is, they say, since we are doing the Christmas sock cow, and I'm mm -hmm. still trying to figure out my sock recipe for socks that will fit, I thought this would be a good question to ask. What is your favorite sock recipe? How do you figure out how many to cast on and what size needles? I don't know if you have covered this already, but I thought I would ask. That's a big question. And it's a good question too. Yeah. Because it's so unique for every person, but I think we could get a pretty good general one here. Mm -hmm. I love how you do your socks, first of all, but I think, let's start with the needle size first. So needle size just has to do with what kind of fabric you want, really. I mean, how tight, it depends on how tight of a knitter you are. Like I, I, I was knitting with size 2.75 um, millimeters, and that's because I was a tight knitter. And so that's how far up I went. And so there's people who do zeros and ones because they're such a loose knitter. So there's a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm down to 2.5s and 2.25s now. But I think that has to do with your tension. What do you think? Yeah. Or the fabric you want to get. Like that's just very much a personal thing. So I read that the the tighter the fabric for socks, the the better, the longer wear that you'll get out of it. Um, I believe that. Yeah. You, you but see, could... so, okay, keep going, keep going. I, cause I, I... Yeah, so if it's the fabric's tighter, then you're going to get better wear because um, uh, it, it would probably wear faster and you get holes in your sock if mm -hmm. the fabric was a little looser. So yeah. not, not as far as loose as on, like, fitting on your foot, but just the fabric itself right. being looser. Right. Yes. And that's why my needle size is starting to go down because my tension is finally starting to loosen a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, yeah. But I like doing the six, the traditional, I, I say traditional because most sock patterns, vanilla sock patterns and stuff are written for 64 stitches. And I really like the fabric that produces. Um, so I kind of yeah. stick with that, but it's really easy, especially if you're talking about vanilla, to go down and up you know, more stitches for a man's leg and more less stitches. Cause I know you have a smaller, you said narrow foot. Don't you do like, don't you do like 56 or something? Okay. So when I, <clears throat> I have my knitting machine now, my uh -huh. uh, sock machine, but when I would just cast on myself, I would cast on 64 stitches. Okay. And I use a one and a half needle. Okay. And that fits me really good. Um, now with my sock machine, <clears throat> you have to have a looser tension on the sock machine because uh, you'll get drop stitches and you, your tension has to be not real tight on the machine because it just won't work. So okay. my sock machine is actually 60 stitches um, in order to be the same as my 64 stitches I would do. Uh, by hand so um <clears throat> so the tension's about the same um and i just i think as far as needle size i think it, it just takes ex experimenting knitting yeah. different so and even uh different sock yarns might mm. require a oh, different size true. needle uh so there's it's just all as you know there's not a one size fits all it's because everybody's it's foot hard. is different yeah so it's just you just got to knit some socks and you got to say, hmm, is this a little tight? If it's a little tight, but you want to keep your uh, amount of stitches the same, then you just go up a needle size or right, or you go down a needle size. Mm -hmm. So, And I think that's what it is. You play with it because you don't really know what you don't know until you knit a few pairs of vanilla socks. And then, you know, you play around with heels and you decide which heel. Like that was the hardest part for me. Not the hardest. It took the longest, I would say, um, deciding what kind of heel I liked. Cause there's so many different ones out there and I'll still play around with a different one from time to time. But I was shocked that I landed on, um, heel flap and gusset. That's my favorite. I love it. I, I just like how it fits. Mm -hmm. And, um, I'm, I'm, I, I hate 
hate, and I know we're so different on this, uh, the afterthought heel drives me freaking nuts. And that's what I have to do for the Christmas socks I have to find. But, um, so, but you know, and it's only getting started. Once it started, it's not bad. Um, yeah. And there's a couple other heels I've never tried that I still want to try. So I'll do that every so often, mm-hmm. you know, but that's, that's how I feel about it. Um, and then I love what you do, though, because um, – so it's easy to get, I think it's easy to figure out what your foot needs, you know? Yeah. But then when you do them for other people, it gets a little, it can get a little sketchy, but you, I feel like you almost have a fail proof plan on how you do your actual foot. Like how big a person should be. I measure. Is that what you you're talking about? Yeah. You either measure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, so that's another thing. So you want to figure out, okay, uh, how, how much, how long should, should you, uh, knit the socks so i do an afterthought heel but i i think you could do this also if you were if you did a heel and gusset it's the same thing okay so like uh, my foot when i first started you just stand on a piece of paper and you outline your foot you draw your foot on the paper and so you'll get your measurement and mine's like I think mine's nine inches. Is that right? I'm trying to think here. Yeah. So mine's nine inches. Okay. <clears throat> so then From I your longest toe to the back of your heel, right? Yeah. Nine inches. Okay. okay. So then I know that for the foot, not the toe, not the heel, the foot of my knitting needs to be five inches then i add two inches for the toe and i add two inches for the heel and that will fit my foot perfect so it's always two inches for toes always two inches for heels and whatever's left in between is the foot exactly that's yeah yeah Mm -hmm. that's cool i think that's a really good way to do it i think so sock recipe too so to me i think one of the things that people always talk about as well is the cuff um I like a longer cuff. I'm either going longer or I'm going super short. And you know, when I say super short, I haven't even knit any super short socks, but I would just look at the Rose City rollers today. I was like, I should knit some of those. I never have. But I think I know I would love them. Mm -hmm. I know I'd love them. So So I have a sock right here. It's one of my FOs. So, okay. So um, this here is five inches. This here is two inches and this here is two inches. So, and I have decided that I like a little shorter this way. And the reason why I like it shorter now, I used to make them a little longer, but during, not during winter months, but during cooler months, what have you, I like to wear like crop top, uh, 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 the, the pants that are kind of, um, Oh, they're kind of rolled up, so you see part of your ankle. Um, that went from crop top <laughs> to your pants. <laughs> Ellie, I know how you dress, and this does not sound anything, but I want to I wanna come over and hang out with you really soon. These people are like, I can't. The clothes are coming off. Oh, we're wearing gosh. little half tops and pants rolled down. I'm like, what do you call those pants that are, like, short? Caprice. Ah. <laughs> Not a crop top. <laughs> Going back to the Pierce navel. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I could not. Just wouldn't come. <clears throat> okay, so. <laughs> oh, that's great. Those Capri pants. And I, they're like oh, rolled up. Oh, yeah, you would need a shorter. Yeah, that would look funny with a longer. They're like. Top what do you call them like boyfriend pants type you know they're kind of rolled up anyway I love those I love those and so um the little shorter ones you know you you get to see if they're yeah. too long they look kind of it looks too weird yeah yeah no, so. I, I totally understand what you're saying now yeah so it's a fashion thing <laughs> at least socks are dictated by what she's wearing <laughs> I like it no no that makes good sense though that does yeah that's why I think mine would go either. That's how I, I mine's either really long, or I'd be. I need to do some shorties. I've never done shorties, and I don't have any good reason why. Because I know I'd love them. Just have it. And they're faster you know, to knit. 
So. Well, I know why it is. I, I like knitting the cup. Like, it's my favorite part of knitting, the oh. sock. And you just took out my favorite part. Like, you're just going straight into a heel almost. Wait. I know. That's why. You like knitting the cuff? I... Oh, I love it. That oh. whole part there, that's the whole part of a vanilla sock. So, I do this on my sock machine. Um, and so it's... do you hand knit them, th them anymore? So, it's, what do you call this? You call this uh, a, 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 a... Rolled? A hung hem, right? Is that right? What? A hung hem? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I've never heard that before. I think it's a hung hem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing good very well I've, at all. Like, my words are just like... We gotta get you that ginkgo biloba or the, some fish oil for the... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Thing. I think it's the heat, man. It's the heat. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I just got to tell you, I've had a very stressful week. I needed this laughing. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Sure. Like, sure. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, Those are beautiful. anyway, I do it on my knitting machine because I don't like doing the cuff. And so it... Um, so when you're knitting, you have to flip it down, and then you have to recatch. This is the oh, You have to recatch yeah, yeah, the yeah. stitches. Anyway, I really like how it fits because it fits really good on the foot. So. Well, and when I mean cuff too, I mean also not only that part, but the the, the oh, part before. That, yeah, right that there part. too. Yeah, yeah. the okay. part you're just touching, all of it. Yep. That's my favorite part. <sighs> I'm knitting, and I haven't done them forever, and that's why I. I haven't finished socks in a while because you know what I want to do? I want to knit about 22 of just cuffs. <laughs> so I think we need to have some sort of knitting trait because there's people who love heels and there's people who love the other part. So I think we need to set up an assembly line of people and, you know, just give me about 20 things of socks and I'll do all the cuffs and I'll mail it to the next person who will do all the heels. And See, I didn't start loving knitting socks until I discovered the afterthought heel. heel. Mm -hmm. Um... Because I did not like doing that, what you do. I don't like it. It's too much work. <laughs> look at you look like you're pained. I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> it's so painful. Yeah. <sighs> it's so funny because everyone's so unique, but everybody who loves knitting, we all have something that like causes us pain. You know, like, we're just like, oh. Like weaving it in it doesn't bother me. Some people are just like, oh put a weave in end, you know, or, or purling, which I still never ever get. People are like, I don't want to purl. And it's just funny when people, we yeah. talk about what pains us in knitting. Yeah. Knitting should be painful, but there's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so wait, was that your pumpkin spice um, that you showed? No, this is actually a colorway I did last year and it's autumn blaze. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because pumpkin spice has more white in it, doesn't it? Or like a cream color. It's not like that's a lot of. It has a. So it has some other colors in it. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. I though. might. I might do this colorway again. So oh, I think. Yeah. Should. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay. All right. Wow, we made it through that question. Like really long. Oh my gosh! I feel like we probably. I'm so sorry. I feel like we probably didn't answer your question either. But so here's the, here's here's the answer to this too. Though. I'd say you got to knit at least six pairs of socks for yourself. Um, and and that's just rough estimate before you kind of figure out whether you like a longer cuff or a shorter cuff. Um, whether you like this heel or that heel, and then um, what kind of needles you like. Mm -hmm. So if you've been knitting a while, I think you'll hit your tension and what needle size you should be using. I think that's. Pro I feel like that's the easiest thing to sort out it comes kind of quickly because you'll notice real soon. Like, yeah, I just don't like the fabric or something. And, yeah. Um, but I think knowing your preferences on socks, that's, that's the harder part. Isn't there a German short row? Short heel? row. Yep. I'd like to yep. try that. I've mm. done that. I've done, um, what kind of heel uh, toe, your toes and after, is it, is it like the afterthought heel? Your it's toe exactly is the same. So yeah. if you know how to do, afterthought heel you can do the the toe exactly the same way so and my favorite toe i got it from um it'll come to me in a minute but i like the it's it's basically called i think it's called the star toe and when i looked at that i would have thought because it's there's a 
decreases that are going up the middle of your foot and on the sides and on the back. So there's four decreases. And it looks like that you would feel that on your toe. I don't feel them at all. And it's just such a comfortable toe. I always feel like the other ones, the sides don't ever really lay where I want them to. So um, that's been a really fun one for me. I really, like I found my toe, which I didn't even know I was looking for a toe. Well, something that I do to, to make it um, before I do the decreases, I will knit like four plain rows. Yeah. Yeah, and and then I'll great. start my decreases, and I do that on on the toe as well. So, uh, I want to give credit to the one who showed me that. It was in a pattern I knit. It was Cape Cod socks. If you go on Ravelry, you'll see a pair from me called the Cape Cod socks. There they are, right there. I should know Naughty Gnome. Can't believe I forgot her name too. Um, she has that in there, and I just love that toe. So, yeah, I don't know if we answered your question. It's not an easy question to answer. Like it's not a canned answer for sure yeah yeah you just have to experiment that's if you have a specific question about a part of the sock maybe that'll be a little bit easier we can but I think it'll still come down to like just some suggestions like mm. maybe you should try this or maybe you should try that right because as you can tell we just talked about certain things she loves the afterthought I hate the afterthought most people actually <laughs> love the afterthought I am in the I'm in a strange minority so I will say that. Try the afterthought. Uh, let's yeah. the, Who I learned the afterthought from, I don't even know why I'm going here because I'm not going to remember the name. So. <laughs> 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 why should I even bring it up? Forget it. No, Forget Someone it. Someone taught it to you. Forget it. Move it on. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. So what's oh. on the needles? Let's go there. Oh, wait. What? What? Arnie and Remember. Carlos. <gasps> I love Arnie and Carlos. Okay, love that's them. where I learned how to properly do the afterthought heel. Just saying. Arnie and Carlos are amazing. If there was ever knitting myths out there, they're, they dispel them. Like, there's, I, I love them. They're just so genius. Yeah, they're funny to watch. <laughs> and, and, yeah, they are. They're hysterical. They crack me up. Okay. They have a YouTube channel. If you never watch them, oh my gosh, you should watch them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all right. All right. Moving on. What do you on. have on the needles? Okay. I still have my turtle dove. And I don't think you had that. I'm curious to see what it looks like because it didn't. you didn't have a whole lot of it done. Oh, you were getting ready for sleeves, weren't you? I was getting ready for sleeves. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know. It's yeah. It's kind of so hard with Guys, I know this is really hard to show, but um, I did the sleeves are on hold here. Um, okay. So I have about another um, couple inches on the bottom before I, I uh, do the ribbing and the uh, um, split. It's a, the split. Um, M? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm here for you. For whatever reason, usually we're flip flopped, but the pistons are firing so, over here. So yeah, um, it looks so squishy and warm and it's cozy. Yeah, and it's got cotton in it. Um, it's got wool and cotton, so it's really lightweight. Um, getting caught. I'm gonna have to try that. I like the idea of a wool cotton blend a lot. So it's um, man, it's getting catching. This is huge needles, so. Mm -hmm. uh, it's wool luft oh, sorry oh, man wool folk luft yes in uh, colorway L2 gray and I will say I, I love the yarn okay mm -hmm. but I had a couple skeins that had uh... <laughs> were they not joined was it broke yes it was a join okay <gasps> And I and I've read other people have had this problem too with the yarn. So oh, you spend a lot of money problem. on the yarn and you expect it not to have a join and it does. So it's a little frustrating because usually, yeah. uh, so normally you know you could cut it and then just like you're adding a new ball type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But usually you don't realize it until you're like right there and then it's yep. like, oh, man. so yes. It's a little disappointing, but I mean, I do like the yarn a lot, so I don't know. 
See, just... and that's what the because I do want to try it now that you said wool cotton. I've always wanted to play with some cotton yarn. I know people don't love it, but the wool cotton blend really intrigues me. Um, I had a gorgeous cabled sweater that I bought from Eddie Bauer. I mean, decades ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it was made of cotton yarn, and it lasted. I mean, like forever. I wore that so much. I washed it. I was delicate with it. I am telling you, at least a solid 20 years it lasted. So I am convinced cotton has some sort of sturdy, um, it does something. So I'm just really curious with wool and cotton, like how that would be. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm going to have to try that. So just, I've never, I've never knit with cotton anything. Have you knit with cotton yarn? No, this is the first, this is the first time. Okay. So, yeah, and yeah. because it's got the wool in it, it's, you know, it's, it, and it's like, uh, it's like blown in type of thing. It's like a, it's really hard. Let me pull out. See, I, I'm just so intrigued now. I've, I've... So it's like, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's like yeah. a net and then this like blown in type of, I don't know if you can tell. Isn't there. that, I think it's called, like, there's a name for it. I think it's, like, chain something or the other, the yarn, the way they did that. But, yeah, that's really, yeah. that looks cool. So, I, and I, trust I, me, when the pattern says you need, like, nine balls for your, so get it, because <laughs> it goes really, really fast when you're knitting, and you will use it. So, uh, and I did not alternate, because they were all from the same lot. So yeah. if you buy it all at once, then you don't have to worry about, at least for this color, you don't have to worry about alternating the skeins. Um, so um, did you do a swatch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that no. surprises me because you usually swatch, don't you? You're a swatcher, I thought. Uh, not really. No? Because no. I'm curious. So are you, I'm curious what it'll do when you get it wet. So here's what I do. I will knit and then I'll check my gauge. So as I'm knitting, I check it. I'm going, hmm, is this going to work out? Is it not going to work out? But this sweater has a ton of ease on it. So uh, it's very forgiving, if you know what I mean. I actually, so I the, the small and the medium, you cast on the same number of stitches. So I was deciding, do I want to knit the medium or do I want to knit the small? And because they both had the cast on number, mm -hmm. when I got to the part where I was getting ready to separate for the sleeves, then I made my decision. Okay, I, oh, wow. I think I think I'm gonna knit the small. So it's kind of nice for the for the sweater. Yeah. So let us know because I'm very, very curious what happens after you soak it and it's done. Like I wanna know like does it grow? Does it stay the same? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, I, hmm, I don't know. As I've heard things with cotton, and I have no idea, I don't knit with it, but I, 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 I you know, and I can't remember what the things are. It either grows or it doesn't. It's either one or the other to an extreme, I, I thought. Yeah. I don't know. So we'll find out. I guess so. <laughs> so let's see, the other thing, of course, uh, we have a Christmas sock cow going on, and I have... Yeah. My Christmas socks. So, okay, I cheated because I did the tube on my sock machine. And, um, but I am, I'm working on the toe. Let's see if I can get a little. Oh. Who's that yarn by? I know you said it on Instagram, but I didn't look it up. Today. Yes. The, uh, the yarn is by Die for Oop. 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 Oh, okay. okay. And um, I actually bought it uh, last December. Um, but I, I never got around to it, so I decided. And then when Lily saw it, she's like, oh, are those for me? Well, of so. course they're for you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, then now the mustache is for you. You've got a mustache for you. I know. So, See? so that's my yarn. Like oh, and so I thought, well, oh. I had to put it in my Christmas bag. Oh, I so. love that. And the bag so is by... Uh, um, quilt knit craft and I actually got this bag a couple of years ago so but I, I love the old cars on it yeah so that and then okay so I haven't had a, a, a 
ton of knitting time because uh, doing a, I've been doing a lot of dyeing, so I'm dying over here. <laughs> I'm trying to find uh, mustaches. Um, her Christmas yarn. Did she post she, it? She did, but she probably a took it. A very Hobbit Christmas. Is that it? No, no, no. It was like a gingerbread type. It's probably not in her shop anymore. But, I just want to see the picture. Oh, figgy pudding, warm gingerbread. Okay. Oh, so yeah. Let me see if I can. I know which one it is. Because it sounds like there's a lot. There's nothing like she does so many, you know, interesting things mm -hmm. that um, I can't. It's not like jumping out at me. Like, I, which one would be her Christmas? That's pretty. There's okay. Very Hobbit Christmas was one of them for sure. And then. Where's the dad? Shell Seekers and Family Reunions. Huh. I don't see it on her Instagram, which is really weird. That is strange. She's usually, yeah. But, okay. So, you have that on the needles. You have, okay, you're like, you're very prolific right now. You're doing good because you have, you have other things. Uh, well, I haven't touched um, my Suburban Wrap by Hohe. Okay. So, okay. I'm not going to show it because I haven't really done anything on it because, uh... Yeah, I don't know why she'd have the... Oh, well. okay. What about your stranger? Um, since I haven't had a ton of knitting time, I haven't had a ton of time to work on it. So, um, but yeah, here's my Stranger oh. Things cow. So... That is amazing. That is so amazing. So, anyway. And if you think you can't do color work, you can. So, because this is really only my second color work project, uh, you just have to remember to not be so tight with your knitting. You know, kind of be a, a little loose with your knitting. True. That's very true, actually, because so, it'll pucker if you don't. Yeah. So, as long as you keep that in mind, um, yeah, it's really easy. I just practice holding your yarn in the in your hand. There's there's YouTube videos. Um, that you can watch that will give you tips on how to hold the yarn uh, and and it feels really weird at the beginning when you first do color work because you're not used to you know it does but one, yarn. yeah once you get used to it it's and it doesn't take long to get used to it so and then it and then it's like it opens up a whole new world of knitting all the color work so and it's not hard. It isn't. It's just, it just feels weird at first because you're, you have so many, well, it depends on how many you want. Like you, you can do it with two to three. That's yeah. not that many. And then they have those little cheaters too. You can put on your finger and you could actually thread the yarn through if you wanted. Yeah. There's, there's all kinds of things out there. So my throwback cardigan I did was three colors and, um, but it, so the beginning of it was really easy. So you kind of got used to holding the yarn at the beginning before you got mm -hmm. to the main part of the color work. So you're already kind of getting used to doing the color work before you got to the hard stuff, which okay. really isn't hard. So I'm just saying it's harder. But, okay. So. All right. And that is all I have to show. Okay, well, so on to me. I have zero FOs. Let's just be real honest. And I was talking to Ellie about how I have, I know I have at least two pairs of Christmas socks on the needles from oh, last year. Two. And um, I can't find them. That is sad. I will find them. I wasn't looking really, really like I had, I was looking for maybe five minutes, but I had all my whips in a basket and I will find them. Everybody I'm was, everybody was hoping to see those Christmas socks now. I know, I know. Um, so, but the story, I didn't knit on them either, so it, you wouldn't have seen much. But, um, well, and they're almost done. Um, oh. But what I have been knitting on is my hippie shawl. And, let's see. Uh oh, look, at here's the bottom. I'm almost done. Um, so, I'm into the lace. Oh, gosh, that's so terrible. Yeah, let's go like this. The lace part is just started here. Oh. Yeah. So, raspberry. But here's what I want to talk about with this. This is the hippie shawl by Chrissy. I think it's Houghton. Houghton? I'm probably saying it wrong. Yeah. But she's half of the Yarn Cafe girls. <clears throat> um, so, clearly, this is a five-color shawl. Um, and we've talked about this before. Um, I love when you have five colors. It takes me forever to figure it out. But um, 
you don't have to do five colors. Uh -huh. You can do three colors if you want. You can do however many colors you want, even though it's a five color shop. Um, the, the pattern maker will tell you what section, like, you know, she'll pick out the colors. It'll be A, B, C, D, and E, I think. Um, and tell you, like, this section should be color A, and this should be C, D, whatever, right? Well, I have this color here in this. You can kind of see it's a dusty purple, mm -hmm. right? Real light lilac color. I really don't like it with these colors. Like, I put it in, I was like, ooh, I'm not putting that in anymore. I don't hate it here, but the way the rest of the colors are lining up, I don't like it against any of the other colors except for maybe this and the cream. And so as I was looking at what the order was coming up next, I wasn't digging the order at all. And I was like, I don't, I don't have to do it in that order. <laughs> There's no rule that says I have to go exactly by the pattern maker. So I actually, I stopped doing whatever she suggested um, right about, I think, here. Uh -huh. And then I just lined them up how I wanted. Actually, I think it was just the purple. I stopped. Um, and then I just started lining them up how I wanted to see them in the end. I just rewrote it my, not rewrote, <laughs> just reordered my colors. And, you know, it's so it sounds so simple and so silly. I think maybe most people think about this. I, I don't. Um, like, I was almost to the point of, I don't even, I'm not going to like this shawl if I do this. And it probably hit me maybe two hours after that. Why do you have to do it that way? Mm -hmm. You don't. And so, so I've reordered it and I'm really, really happy with how it's going. And you can't really see that well on there because this is a really dark raspberry color next to the teal. And then I think, I can't remember what, I, I want to say the next color after that's going to be this multicolored fall stuff here, but so fun. Um, my friend was right. I've told you guys too. She, uh, Jamie did this. Oh, I hope this is right. See, I'm already looking at it. I'm like, is there mistakes? Could be. Don't know. Um, each section's super easy and, um, you can watch TV. No problem. Mm -hmm. Then you get to the lace. She said, you gotta pay attention. Not hard lace, not hard at all, but it's not something where you could watch TV and not look. Um, I'm still watching TV, but mostly listening mm -hmm. and they'll look up whatever I get to like the the, uh, there's six like garter stitches here um but still not hard this is this is the only section where i kind of have to really pay attention and then after that it goes back to you know garter or a very easy texture so really really liking this i don't know that these colors are all me but i know i'll have fun wearing it it's gonna have like fringe it seems very rhinebecky to me so i'm hoping i have this done for rhinebeck but um and I should. I only got like two more sections and then I tie some tassels to it. But I don't know. I don't commit to my knitting anymore. Like I, I, I'm going to do it, but I'm not putting things out into the world about a deadline. Because I'm just, I'm not deadline driven with my knitting for the past year at least. So are um, you just going to do the shawl for ra uh, for um, Rhinebeck instead of a sweater? I don't ever have a sweater. Like if I have a sweater, it's because I finish it. Like I don't even do Rhinebeck sweaters. Okay. I've started them but i've never had one <clears throat> like i have a cardigan for rhinebeck that i wore mm -hmm. last year i don't have any no short answer i, I yeah i'll call it a rhinebeck shawl sure we'll do okay. that we'll go with that all right and i like the idea of rhinebeck socks yeah <laughs> but again if i don't have them i'm not gonna stress out about it there's people <laughs> who will stay up all night finishing whatever their rhinebeck sweater is you know and they're literally on the plane and they're weaving in their ends and they're like it's done i stayed up all night mm -hmm. yeah Rhinebeck is relaxing for me. It's so nice. You're knitting. I refuse to be stressed by knitting. Not gonna do it. Mm. Not gonna do it. Yep. My lighting's really getting freaky here. Hold on. Freaky lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. How's that? Eh. I closed my curtain. Now am I too dark? Let's see. No, you're fine. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Am I better now? <laughs> okay that's it this is all i have the autumn hippie shawl and i've got it upside down this is the top so very it's all nice very nice yeah i think uh and it's really soft oh my gosh so soft and squishy the yarn is by yarn geek i know i've talked about it before but her this mix of yarn like, I would do a cardigan in this in a heartbeat. It is baby alpaca, merino, and silk. And I'm really yeah. curious how it'll wear because <clears throat> um, I love cashmere and wool together, but most of it isn't. 
in my, I don't, I know some people don't mind shaving their sweaters and stuff. I'm not that kind of person. I'm like the person who buys clothes that don't need to be ironed. If there's anything that has to be ironed, I send it to the dry cleaners. Um, I'm the same way with my knitting. If it's going to pill and that Mm -hmm. has to do, it doesn't have to do with bad yarn. I know people think that, um, I'm not going to probably do the upkeep to keep it looking nice. So, and I love cashmere. <clears throat> yeah. have you had a yarn with cashmere that didn't like I think they're fine for like shawls and it's just certain things but I I'm not inclined to do them with sweaters and I'm sure there's something out there that makes I don't know is there a yarn out there that doesn't pill with cashmere mm-hmm. that you wear yeah. a lot I'm talking about high wear stuff I want if, if I had a little bit of nylon in it would it make a difference I don't know. I want to say the one I used to might have had some. I don't know. I'm going to start looking at some of the sticks. I know I have even Ruby's. Ruby had one that was cashmere and wool. I want to say there, were, there might have been some nylon. I, I know it was super washed, but it wasn't really bad in pilling. So I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But I'm wondering if this does the same. Baby alpaca. Anybody? Silk's supposed to be very um, strong. Yeah. Actually, I just put some uh, yarn in the shop that is a singles yarn and it has mm-hmm. merino and silk in it and that sh- the sheen that you get with um the silk is just, just and it's nice and drapey too so nice yeah silk is nice nice it's supposed to be very warm too from what I hear. yeah i've knit with so. silk um uh i used I used to <laughs> I used to love Expression Fiber Arts um, yarn. Oh, I still love it. Yes, I and she has it's so a lot of worldly. It's it glows. It feels like it when I look at oh, pictures. Yeah, it's so shiny. It's because all that silk in it. Yeah. It's just it's gorgeous. Yeah, yep. But huh. I've never made like a sweater or something out of it, you know. But what you make? Oh, I'm sure it's a shawl or a cow or something. I did. Huh. Uh, I'm curious because I never bought her yarn, but it always entices me on Instagram. Um, yeah. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll do that. Yeah. Now the cowl I'm doing um, for Lily. This actually is. Uh, this has uh, cashmere in it, and it's really just really. I figured being around her neck, and she's very highly sensitive to anything scratchy. It had to be really soft, so. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure it was really, really nice and soft. So there's no scratchiness to it whatsoever. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, and unlike, like, mohair, I thought mohair was really nice and soft and great for me. And then the sweater that we did. Um, <laughs> Here's my Rhinebeck sweater. The easy one. Uh, yeah, you know, we... Yeah. We put to, and it was funny because when I was knitting it and trying it on, it didn't bother me. It was when it was completely done, and I put it on, and then after a few minutes, I was like, hmm, this is really kind of bothering me, you know? And, and see, and I love it, and it doesn't bother me. So I still wear it. Yeah, I just got to wear long sleeves with it. It'll be mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I didn't. Good. It's like one of those things you don't realize that something's going to bother you. Because if you just put it up to your skin, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is great. This is nice. But when you're wearing it, wearing is totally different. So it, it is. Just, it felt very prickly on me. That's what it felt like. Well, and that's like alpaca is always so soft to me. But I've heard some people say alpaca feels weird to them or it, it's, it gives them either rashes or it's itchy or, you know, they just have a bad reaction to it. I'm just, I don't know. Don't yeah. Know. Yeah, you just don't know until, until so you do it. <laughs> till it's done right oh yeah okay so I mean, yeah. we look look how many there's hardly any ends have we done almost all of them you know I, I can't tell you if I didn't weave them in as I went along that would drive me nuts oh to weave all the ends in at the end all oh so of them. you weave yours in as you go I like I to have. do that I like to do that yeah because then and at I the end yeah who don't do that they're I said why wouldn't you do that and, and they had a good point. They're like, because if you have to tear anything out, if you block it, like, you're kind of, it's not good. And I can't imagine tearing something. I know people do it. Like, like if something didn't go right, um, but hmm. I'm just willing to take that risk. I'll give it away. I mean, usually, I mean, usually you know right away if you're going to have to tear it out. You know what I mean? 
Not well, like if, at the end. If you didn't end. swatch and your fabric grows 510%. <laughs> saying yeah. <laughs> I, I'm with you though I'm the same way I, I, just, I don't to me it doesn't seem like the surprise is gonna be so major that I'm gonna yeah no well just so you know on the turtle dove um normally I knit mediums for sweaters mm-hmm. and this time I decided to go to a small because I was afraid it'd be way too much ease because there's a lot yep. of ease. So I think the, the small was going to have 14 inches of ease. Wow. And the medium was going to have 18 inches. And But that's what the instruction said. You want 14, 18 inches of ease. And I was thinking, hmm, 18 might look a little too baggy on me. So yeah. I, I went with the small. But normally in sweaters, I, yeah. I would imagine it would grow just because of the weight of the yarn, too. Just a little bit. At least a little bit. Because that that's a lot of, that's yeah. a heavy, bulky yarn, right? Oh, I mean, well, it's bulky, but it's like super lightweight. So I don't, I don't know. If it's gonna... I'm very curious about this. I cannot wait. I got, <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. I think it's going to. Okay. Yeah. So I have a secret. Uh-oh. I've never swatched any of my sweaters. I'm a, I swear to goodness. Okay. So for everything you're forgetting, I am swapping you out with another knitter because all the things I'm talking about, you're like, Mm-mm. I'm like, who am I thinking of? Because I have one, I know I have someone out there in the world that is a friend that swatches religiously. Yeah. So neither do I. I'm yeah. bad. I think I did the last one. I did the last one. No, no, no. I take that back. No, not the easy one, but the cardigan I did. My last cardigan I did. So I would say my first sweater, well, not even my first, my first sweater went really well. Um, the second sweater was probably just a little too, a little tight tighter than I would prefer it I mean it still fit but it was fitting right. and I prefer yeah, yeah. I pref- t-shirts is, yeah t-shirts is the only thing I like that if it's fitting it's fine but yeah. when I wear a sweater I, I like I like definitely so a little loose to it yeah I like warm squishy like yeah. oversized bumpy yeah. sweaters I love them so I love them like oh so talking about sweaters oh is that all you have on uh that you have oh, on yeah, deals? okay it. So <laughs> remember on our last uh, episode, we talked about my next cast on whether it was going to be uh, the Stone Crop Pullover by Andrea mm-hmm. Maori or it was going to be the Tecumseh. Um, oh, right, right. And so I don't know if you read the comments, but... I started, but what was the end result? It's going to be the Stone Crop. Oh wow! Did you cast it on, or are you? Are you oh no no no! Out? I gotta finish. I gotta finish the turtle dove. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 no. We're not there yet. We're not there. Yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. All right. Are you so. excited, or were you like, oh, I kind of want to do the other one? Because sometimes I'll have that. I think yeah. I want people to decide for me, and then when they do, I'm like, are you sure you don't want to go with the other one? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I I really like both of them. So. Okay. So it was good. Either one was going to be great. Um, okay. I. So the stone crop has doesn't really have much ease, so I would definitely measure and look at the size that will give me um, a few inches of ease. Like I said, because okay. I don't I don't like everything just like because you know sometimes after those meals you eat you get a little bloated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bloated all the time. <laughs> oh gosh. No, I, yeah, I'm with you on the sweaters. So, yeah, this, um, yeah. Stonecutter's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting to watch you do this because that has, was that cable texture kind of thing? Let me pull it up. Let me pull it yeah. up. I'll show you a picture of it. Because I think I said I, I went with the Tecumseh and that was a color work, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the, the stone crop is color work too. Is it? See, I, I think I already... Stone cutter. Oh, you no, just, stone, I, stone crop. crop. Yeah. The stone cutter is a um, cable a thing by, I think, Michelle Wong. That's what I'm getting. Mixed okay. up. Oh, yeah. No, so, no, I remember that. So there's the stone yeah. crop. That's so interesting. Do you know what colors you're going to do? Yes, I already have it picked out. I don't know if I can. Wow. That's pretty. So, I mean, there's a lot of color work. So. The main body is, I'm going to use my colorway uh, Sweet Taffy, which is kind of a, between a peach and a pink, a super light color. 
peachy mm -hmm. pink color. And then, hold on, I'll grab the other skeins I'm going to use. Oh my gosh. So if you can hear me, I'm looking at the stone crop pullover tag and Instagram and a lady knit one for her pug as well. Her and her pug have one. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Were you talking? I couldn't hear I you. I said this, this lady knit a stone crop pullover for her pug as well. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's awesome. That's that hilarious. Is so great. I love it. Okay, love it. so uh, for the color work, I'm going to use Spin Cycle yarn, and I'm going to use the colorway Burning Sensation. Ooh. Yeah. So. That's going to be pretty. So I want the main color of the body to be light, very light color, so then this oh, pops gotcha. up. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. I'm with you. Because, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Are you talking about like the stripes on this? Yeah. Like those blue stripes are going to be that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the color work. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. That's going to be really pretty. Yeah. So go stone crop. Wow. I need to get another sweater on the needles, but we'll All see. All right. So we'll see. are you still planning on the shady side sweater? Yeah, that's definitely what it's going to be for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just gotta get cast on and i don't know if i'm gonna wait till the shawl's done i haven't decided whenever i pick up the next knitting thing like it'll be a surprise to me too i don't know all right we'll see we should do socks though. well yeah I'm socks. We'll find them. you gotta we'll find them yeah you gotta finish socks socks for our cow yep 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 okay all right that's all i have what else for you um, let's see, just some shop news. Um, first okay. thing is, I plan on dyeing up more sweaters, boots, and bonfires. That'll be heading back to the shop. And if you remember, that was a big hit last year. So I will mm -hmm. be dyeing up more of that. So look for that. Good. And then the other thing is, I have another uh, collaboration I did with Heather from Yellow Ribbon Crafts. Uh, she's the one that designed the LA Shaw. And uh -huh. she designed another, sh I guess you call it a cow. Um, it's kind of like a shawl length, but it's actually a cow. So, you know, if you have problems with it, like falling off your shawls, it's actually mm -hmm. kind of a cow. And so it kind of goes over. And yeah. It's really neat. Um, it uses my DK yarn. So I'm going to try to Ooh. get my DK yarn stocked up for that. And... Other than that, we have our Hook Me Up Christmas Sock Cow that we are currently doing. So you can join us as we get our Christmas socks done before December. Then you are ready to enjoy wearing them during the holiday season. The cow is going on right now and we'll run through. I just decided December 1st was a good time to cut it off. Yep. So uh, please feel free to comment and share your progress in our Ravelry group. And you may also post pictures on Instagram with the hashtag hook me up Christmas cow and Christmas is X M A S. So I like that. I like yeah. that hashtag. That's a good one. Okay. Um, your socks must be adult size socks and yes, shorty socks and whips in progress are welcome. So. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Good job. You nailed it. Okay. Is that a wrap? I think that's a wrap. Okay. So you can find us over at Instagram and Ralphery as the Knitting Hookup. And you can find me personally on Instagram and my Etsy shop as Artistic Lily. And where can they find you, Melissa? I'm on Ravelry and Instagram as Spicy Homemaker. Okay. Thank you for listening. I hope you can join us again on the Knitting Hookup. Bye. Bye. Bye.